ආර්ථික විද්‍යාවේ සුවිශේෂි සංකල්ප මේ පවත්වනු ලබන සාකච්ඡා මාලාවේ පළමු දිග හැරුම ලෙස අද දින අපි කතා කිරීමට බලාපොරොත්තු වන්නේ භූමිය හෙවත් ස්වභාවික සම්පත් සහ ස්වභාවික ප්‍රාග්ධනය පිළිබඳ සංකල්පයයි ප්‍රථමයෙන් අපි කතා කරමු භූමිය හෙවත් ස්වභාවික සම්පත් යන සංකල්පයේ අදහස स्वभाव धर्मे दायादेपादेपादल आधार कर मेवलाम नेत होत आधार के अंत प्रतिवीन यंत्र विद्युत जन के यंत्र लिंग वैव जलाश लोरी दुम्बिये वन्याना ये पमनाक्नो है निष्पादन काटियो संधा युद्धागत है कि अलियतुन गवई इमिन में गबड़ा हरमांत शाला खड़साप हुए निदे प्रादानी उदाहरण स्वाभाविक සිසු නිෂ්පාදන සාධක එනම් ශ්‍රමය ප්‍රාග්ධනය ව්‍යවසායකත්වය සමග සම්බන්ධ නොවී භූමිය නම් සාධකය නැවත නිර්මාණය කිරන බැවි ස්වභාවික ප්‍රාග්ධනය සඳහා නිදසුන් ලෙස ශාක වලින් අනාගතය සඳහා ශාක නිෂ්පාදනය කිරීම මත්ස්‍යයන් විසින් අනාගතය සඳහා මත්ස්‍යයන් නිෂ්පාදනය वैसे मागीन जाले ये द जाले ये मागीन वैसे द निर्माणे क्रीम अपड दाखवान नहीं तो पुलुआ एंड द ट्री इज रेडी बड्स ग्रो फ्रॉम द ब्रांचेस द बड्स आर ओनली स्मॉल टू बिगिन विद बट एस इट ग्रोस बिगर अ फ्लावर फॉर्म्स And finally, the flower blossoms. Insects, like this bee, help to pollinate the flower. Once pollinated, the fruit. or seed pod begins to grow and the petals die off when the seed pod is ripe it splits open exposing its seeds seeds fall from the tree are dispersed by animals or wind or drop straight seed 
a seed in the ground needs water and sunlight for it to grow. The seed will sit in the earth waiting for the right conditions before it grows. With enough water and warmth from the sun, the seed germinates and grows a root. The root grows down further into the earth. As the root grows, it spreads out more roots to absorb more water and minerals from the earth, which it uses as fuel to grow. Next, the seed sends a sprout up towards the warmth and light of the sun. The sprout breaks through the surface of the ground and grows up towards the sun. The stem of the new plant is still quite soft, but as it grows, it hardens and becomes taller and stronger. The plant stem starts to grow leaves, then more leaves, and then it starts to grow branches out from the stem. The plant grows bigger and bigger and bigger. When the season is right and the tree is ready, buds grow from the branches. Hello friends, I am Drippy. You know that rain makes the grass green and it makes your garden grow. Hmm, have you ever wondered what makes rain though? Let's learn how does rain form. First we will need the sun. So here is the sun. When the sun shines, the heat of the sun warms the water, turning it into an invisible gas called water vapor. This process, the changing of water into a gas, is called evaporation. Because gas is lighter than liquids, water vapor, water vapor cools and changes back into tiny water droplets. This change of water vapor into water droplets is called condensation, and it's the opposite of evaporation. Clouds are made up of tiny water droplets, so when condensation occurs in the sky, clouds form and grow. Let's see it from a closer perspective. The droplets bang together and form even bigger drops. When the drops get heavy, they fall because of gravity. They even grow and bump into one another on their journey from the cloud to the ground and every can shine on them and the whole process happens again. This whole process is called a water cycle and keeps the water moving from the ground to the sky fulfilling the water needs of the plants, animals, and people to survive. So, now you know how do raindrops form and fall. Let's summarize this. Me anu subhavika prathdhani anu subhavika parisri pavatna dravya anu evai jaiva paddhati kriyakari dvay. Nathoth api English basavin sandhahan karnuva eko system yanu.